This time, I'm heading to the gold rush town of Clunes in Victoria. Clunes has always been about gold. It was right here that the Victorian gold rush began after the first discovery in 1850. And at one point, more than 6,000 people called it home. But when the gold ran out, so did most of the population. And for the lion's share of the 20th century, clunes lay almost forgotten. That was until the 1990s, when something happened. People started coming back. I want to find out what's drawing people here and how have the new locals brought a struggling old gold town back to life. So Tom, what are these exotic creatures in the back all about? Uh, they've, they've just come back from an exhibition in Melbourne. So I get paid to install them in various places. So you're an artist, obviously. I am an artist, yes. Uh, in a town full of creative doers, I think. <laughs> so the town's grown double its size in the last five years. Really? Yeah, it's always been quite a kooky town. And it was once the sixth biggest town in Victoria, in the Gold Rust, so there's a uh, huge history. Main Street? This is the Main Street? This is the Main Street, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Preserved. Yeah. Like an old west town. So what's it like living here? Oh, I love it. I love it. It, it lends itself to ideas being fulfilled. Thanks, Tom. I'll see you around. See Look ya. after your cargo. Thank you. Bye. Being forgotten could well have been the town's saviour. The old streetscape remains pretty much untouched. A reminder of the pioneering spirit of its gold mining heydays. Maybe that's why Clunes has attracted a wave of newcomers. <laughs> There's something captivating about this little town. I can really see now why people say when they stumbled across it, they just had to stay. No matter who you are, this community has got your back. And in a place full of ideas, that makes anything seem possible.